Hello, welcome. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do something completely different today. I'm going to show you how I put my makeup on um, every morning. And uh, yeah, I do this every day. It doesn't matter whether I'm going out anywhere or not seeing anyone. It doesn't matter. I just, I, I put something on. It helps me deal with my anxiety. It uh, kind of distracts me from worrying about things. And um, it just kind of calms me down and relaxes me. Um, so when I'm working like a 12 hour shift at the hospital, I have to get up early. I don't get too carried away. I just throw a few things on. Um, but I, if I'm around the house, it's just a calming, relaxing way to, to start the day for me. So I've already washed my face. I haven't done anything with this mess here. Um, I washed my face. I did put on my Derma E Vitamin C Concentrated Serum with Hyaluronic Acid. And uh, normally if I don't uh, put any uh, sunscreen on, I'll put moisturizer on top of that. But I'm going to be putting some sunscreen on today. So I'm going to use the Australian Gold Mineral Lotion, SPF 50. Uh, this is mattifying. A lot of uh, sunscreens can look very greasy and oily and uh, just kind of look like a mess at the end of the day. This one does go on and your face does look matte. I do have very dry skin but I do moisturize so it's um, it's not a big deal and I uh, spritz some moisturizing mist on during the day. So I'm going to take my glasses off. Okay I cannot see much like you're all blurry. You're, you guys are all blurry so um, yeah I can, I can barely see you. Uh, so I'm going to put this on and this is a mineral based one but it doesn't have a white cast to it uh, because it is tinted and uh, I put a fairly generous amount on and I usually don't use a beauty sponge or a brush to put my sunscreen on because I don't want it diluted I want it on there full strength and I go down onto my chin put a little bit more on get it onto my neck and this doesn't really change the color of my skin. I mean, it's tinted, but it uh, it doesn't... Oh, I have a mirror over here because I can't see. Um, so you just press this button and the little lights come on. So I might be using this because um, I can't see this way. Um, yeah, that's what you get for not being able to see far distance or up close. So that does not leave a, a, a white cast. It doesn't darken or lighten my skin. It just looks very natural on. And then I have to do something about these dark baggy circles. Um, have them there all my life. I think it's because I got these very prominent blue veins on my eyelids. It looks like the Nile River is swimming, like meandering through my under eyes. Um, so that makes them look dark all the time, doesn't matter how much sleep I get. So I use my NYX uh, concealers in the little pots. Uh, this one's uh, peach color and this one's yellow. Uh, so I'll just use the peach colored one today. And this is very emollient, it's not drying. Um, so I just dab it on, especially right in the um, inside here where it kind of casts a shadow. And this doesn't crease. I don't find it creases anyhow. So I concentrate it in the inside corner and just right on the line where that bag kind of starts. And then I will use, there's a couple of, there's quite a few considerers I do like. I do like the a Maybelline Age Rewind and the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. They're both quite good. I'm going to use this little pink one because I didn't get much sleep last night. And this just brightens up the area. And I do like the Makeup Age Rewind. It does not crease at all. Now in my bathroom, Frank drilled a little mirror into the wall. Those mirrors that you pull out. So that thing is great to use. Okay. So, I still look tired, I still have bags, but hey, um, that's about the best I can do. So, um, 
I don't uh, usually put primer on if I have sunscreen on, <clears throat> but this will do. Um, so <clears throat> I'm going to use a, um, a powder. Um, this is the Milani Prep Set and Glow Transparent um, Powder. And this actually uh, doesn't make your skin look dry. It uh, actually adds a bit of a glow, a very subtle glow. And it's just so pretty. Um, no, you're not going to be able to see that. But it just, that's not sparkly or glittery. It just has the prettiest glow. Okay, I don't know why I'm looking in there because I can't, I can't see. I just look like a big yellow blur here with my shirt on. And yeah, it just gives a very subtle glow. And if you do have sunscreen on, that's a bit more oily and greasy and not mattifying. Um, I definitely set it with some powder there. Alrighty, and then, um, now for blush, uh, I got the, I love wearing coral in the summer, and this is the Big Mama by The Bomb, and I found this for eight or nine dollars at uh, Winners uh, Marshalls. And uh, yeah, it's very, very beautiful color. And then the Milani has nice coral colors. This is Luminoso, and this is Coralini. Um, but I think I'll just go for the Big Mama today. And I bought these brushes, Kestrel brushes at Winners, and I really, really like them. Um, they're, they're dense but soft. Uh, I'm really grabbing these a lot lately. So I'll put the Big Mama on. And then I just give myself a smile and dab it on there and then sweep back. And yeah, I just don't like leaving the house without blush on because I'm so tired. And when I'm really tired, which is most of the time, um, I just find that a little bit of color just really makes me just look a little more awake. So what's nice about this is not overly pigmented so I can build it up instead of getting a big blotch on my, on my cheeks. And then I'm going to um, set everything with my Milani Make It Dewy setting spray. And uh, yeah, I really, really like Milani setting sprays. This has a nice fine mist oh, and it smells yummy. Oh, I didn't bring my fan with me. I usually use a, that fan from Dollarama to uh, dry it. It's much quicker and it's easier on the arms. <laughs> I feel like a very tired bird here. Um, but yeah, it gives a nice glow, not a shimmer, not a glitter, just a beautiful glow to your skin. And then I will, um, oh, I forgot my highlighter. This is a Stila highlighter. It's very expensive, but I got it for free using my PC points. And this is called Kitten. And it's kind of that spongy formula. It's just beautiful. This gives a kind of a wet, dewy look. Doesn't, it's not sparkly or glittery. It's just that nice, dewy look. And I'm using that Kestrel brush again, which I really like. And I'll just dab it on my cheeks here. Sometimes it's easier, easier to use it with your fingers because it's kind of a, a cream formula. Like so. Put a little bit there on my Cupid's lip. Cupid's bow, I should say. And I'll just put a little bit here too. I'm just kind of throwing things on because I don't want this video to last too long. <laughs> um, and then uh, for the eyes, I'm going to use um, the ColourPop Yes Please palette. And these have all these wonderful warm uh, shades in it. So I am going to use this color first just to set. Oh, I forgot my makeup primer. My Milani eye makeup primer. I better put some of that on. Oh, I think I'm getting near the end here. It's 
So yeah, I do like this Milani. The Wet n Wild eye primer is very similar to this one. Okay. Now I'm going to set that with this color here. Yeah, that's, that's what you get for not being able to see too well here. So I'm just going to set that all over. Oh, a bee came in. I mean, a fly came in. Um, and then, uh, now, because when you get older, your eyes get a little droopier. Well, frankly, everything gets droopier. Um, I'm going to put a uh, the crease shade just on the bone and just above the bone, just to kind of draw the eye upward. So I'm going to use this color right here. It's just a nudie pink color. And, oh, I think I'll use this brush here. And then I'm just going to sweep it back and forth right on the bone and just above the bone. And I'm, I'm just going to go sideways instead of down so it doesn't pull my eye down. Yeah, this is kind of awkward doing it this way, but... So it's just a little bit of color to draw the eye up there. And then, um, I think I'll go, I think I'll go in with this color here, just on the, the corner. Oh, there it is. So I'm just gonna put this right on the corner, about maybe a third of the way in. And I like these warm colors, even in the winter, in the spring, the summer, it doesn't matter. I just love that, uh, those rich, warm colors. Now, if I'm, this is kind of a day look, so normally I would draw that into the crease, like into the lower part of the crease, the darker color. I'm just going to leave that for now. Um, so that just helps kind of. And I draw it upwards a little bit just to elongate the eye because with glasses on it looks your, like your eyes are kind of set close together. So this kind of helps draw the, the eye out this way. And then for the lid shade, um, I think I'll go for this gold here. Now sometimes I put shimmer shades on just with my finger. Um, it, it just depends on the, the, the brand and um, that sort of thing, but I'm going to try with the brush for now. Just to put this right on my lid. You can spray this um, with a, like a setting spray just to make it a little pop a little bit more. But these ColourPop ones are quite pigmented, they're shimmers. So I usually don't have to do that. I can just put it on with my finger. Oh, there. Whoa. Yeah. Putting on your finger gives you a little more impact for sure. Alrighty. Now, I don't normally put eyeshadow just under my eyes here, uh, the lower lash, um, because I find it's kind of dark enough down there. Um, but sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And then I'm going to go back to a big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to blend this all together. Like so. And then I just need to add a bit of mascara. I've already curled my lashes. I used the Tweezerman ones that I found at Marshalls and Winners. And that one fits my eye so good. Oh, and this is the... Miss Manga Rock, uh, the L'Oreal, one that um, I found in the discount stores. And a lot of people say this makes your eyelashes look quite spidery, but I don't find that. I find it separates and adds volume quite nicely. Oops, got some on my... Um, so you can see the difference. 
Oh, just finished the other eye. And, oh, see, I'm always getting, I'm always smudging it everywhere, mascara. And sometimes I put mascara on my lower lashes, sometimes I don't. Um, I think I'll just skip it today. Oh, I got some in my hair. See, I oh, just, man, I just get mascara everywhere. Um, I didn't bring down, I usually just use a wet little Q-tip to get that off, but I'll have to use my spit here. Are you going to come off? Now, I always use waterproof mascara. Um, I just find it holds my curl better, and I use uh, cleansing oils after to get it clean, so. Anywho, alrighty. Oh, there, uh, hi, I can see you now. Um, okay, now I just have to finish off. I'm just gonna use my Dessange Illuminating Elixir, and this helps moisturize and just do some with the frizz here and shape it a little bit. So just put a couple of pumps in. And I think I just bloody need a haircut is what I need. This just helps with the frizziness anyhow and just helps me shape it a little bit. Now the only time I comb my hair is when it's wet. Otherwise I just finger it. Finger it doesn't sound good. I just kind of finger comb it. Oh, that didn't sound too good. Um, anyway. Oh, lips. Oh, cheapers, lips. Um, so I'm going to use this Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner, and this is in a coral color. Because I'm going to put coral lipstick on today. I love coral lipstick in the summertime. And I always draw outside the lines. I would not make a very good surgeon. Okay. And then I found this lipstick the other day, which I really like. This is the L'Oreal. I can't remember what it's called. This is Coral Constant. And at one end it has the lip gloss. So this is liquid lipstick. So it's quite sticky when it first goes on, so I'm just going to let it dry. So um, I do find this a bit drying throughout the day. Cause, I mean, any li liquid lipstick is drying. But it really is a nice um, coral shade. So yeah, it's starting to get quite sticky. And at this end is this, um, it looks like a clear balm. So when that's all dry, you just put this balm on and the stickiness goes away, like so. I don't know if I need more blush or not. I could use a bit, I, uh, yeah I know, I, I, I get a little carried away with blush sometimes. It just kind of wakes me up. So that's dry now, or it's set anyhow, and you can see it's transfer proof. It, it doesn't come off. So yeah, that's that's it. Oh, uh, that's that's about the best I'm going to do today. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's just uh, generally um, how I do my makeup. Sometimes I do more, sometimes I do less, but uh, that's the general idea anyhow. It just um, I'm exhausted all the time, it seems, and it just uh, wakes me up, makes me feel a little bit better, uh, gets me ready for the day, a little motivated. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my little get ready with me um, for us old biddies here. And uh, so anyway, if you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up. Um, uh, if you like this type of video, I certainly have enough makeup to do quite a few looks. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed it anyhow. And um, have a wonderful week and take care of yourself and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.